in position. We're going to see what that's in time. Dynamic Marines coming in very close. I'm not quite sure what it has in time. It has a couple of Nautilus Canals. And no, Zerglings running right at those Nautilus Canals, so this should be. So never mind. Quinero had an opportunity to save that base. That doesn't happen. Trying to put down the Sunken, but he's actually going to lose this upper left. And he did put up yet another base at the 2 o'clock. But I think losing these two bases, mind you, one of them didn't even get up properly and one of them didn't really manage to start mining too much, but I still think this is far too big of a loss. I mean, White's being allowed to get back into this game very well. It's not like he was too badly behind or anything, but Quanra needs to put down bases. He needs to put down more gas if he wants to support a large enough army if he wants to get to Ultralisks. Really needs to do that armory now, armory now up for White and he's adding in even more factories and going to continue constant tank production now that he has a few vultures out in the field not quite sure if he's going to ma continue mass producing that but now the upper right hand position light trying to get up on that but the dark storms in play not quite managing to Zergen's still trying to run around and getting killed by mines America Green's of course not managing to fire under that dark swarm but still Keep themselves in the game. Keep it in the game. Keep it in the game. Medic Marines are <laughs> going to run in from the right side. There's going to start attacking this. There are going to be Zergans from both sides, though, and a Dark Swarm right on top of those. So they're all going to go down. So it's a bit of a actually silly move there by Light. He should have known that there would be forces there to defend. And for that to happen, he knew about that Defiler. But still, good good a bit of amount of damage done. He's going <laughs> to okay, okay. He's gonna take the upper left for himself. Yeah took down the base so he's just waiting for that creep on it that creep to dissipate there is an ultralist camera out for quanro so he's, he really needs more mining than he has he has three gas and he had three gas he's had three gas for way too long he needs an additional gas if he wants an opportunity if he wants to be capable of holding the amount of economy the economy he needs to hold ultralisk i mean the light's been on the same amount of bases as quanro for far far too long he's been allowed to produce a lot of forces Still waiting on that creep to go away, but now he's finally going to be able to run up towards that 2 o'clock. He's also pressing the upper right hand. And if you manage to take even one of those out, I think that's going to be it. There is, yeah, I think. I'm not even sure if he had any real mining going up at this base. Quantum, meanwhile, you know, going to go for a counter drop on, on Light's new base. So they're going to be base trades. But of course, the pro the uh, lovely thing for Terrans, is, especially when uh, there's a lack of a specific type of force for Zergs out there, is that they can just float the command center, moving more forces on the ground, pick us up, pick it all off, and then land right back down again. So base trading, but Light still is getting his third. Well, his what it was to be his fourth. Uh, I guess technically now his replacement third or something up. And can, now going to pressure the main. There are ultras finally out there, but he has fire bats and medic marines pressuring around all sides. Workers going to get scanned and picked off. Micro pretty well against the light. Also managing to defend his upper light fairly well. We did lose one base, but yeah, you can tell Quano's face is like, oh, come on, guys. It was a good choice by Wunjin to field Quano because, well, he's well, very good against the light, but also this map favors turns a little bit, allows them to do more their style of play to keep pressure to put on pressure and keep on pressuring also just is siege tanks very effective against Zerg I feel on this map a lot of positions for them to take advantage of and uh, despite Quanta putting up a decent play <laughs> looking at coach Joe going like okay he's got this you've got this Ooh, a couple of sciences of plague there being taken down but why Quanta really doesn't have much money at all oh ho, ho, massive erasers on all sides Killing all the drones, and oh, you can tell Quanner does not look happy. Quanner does not look happy, puffing his cheeks. It's just kind of last ditch effort, aggressive move. If I can't beat him with my Starcraft skills, I will I will beat him with my massive puff, puff cheeks of death. It's actually erasering, trying to very carefully, light trying very careful not to eraser trick his own mar Marines to pick off the ultras. A few Moodle is coming in, trying to pick off the last, trick off these drops that drops the medic Marines right on top of the main. They're all gonna. Most of them, I think, managed to survive. Well, Mutalisks all died. Quan are going to try to go for the drop with his upper left hand position. He just doesn't have much of anything to drop. Has a few Ultralisks, a couple of Zerglings, no Defiler to support. And uh, Medic Marines and Tank, they're just going to be able to back off slowly, micro against this, and beat this out. Some Ultras going to clean up uh, Quanro's main, but Quanro just doesn't have the mining to get back into this game. Light uh, might not have his main, might not have his Nat, but he has that upper left hand. I uh, Think I'm not sure if he's reestablished that uh, 630 position. I'm not quite sure what he's, whether he's reestablished that or not. But Quanro has one mining, get two mining bases. Pardon me. Uh, their upper right hand did not actually, yeah, reestablished. But uh, 
Quanor just does not have enough mining, I feel. Light somehow still managed to get back into this game. He also has a much larger force. He can fight. He's fighting on two fronts. He has two forces over the map. He always manages to... Uh, I'm not sure if he has two forces, but he always manages to split up. I think he has a force at the, uh, the upper left and this force right here. And he's been managing to split his force successfully on several occasions, just drop shipping a few locations. A bunch of those sciences up there, trying to pick up another base at the upper left end. And Quanda, despite trying to harass that, just not managing to even get up that ramp. Not really managing to do much damage. Might manage to take off the console station, but not really much else. Quan overall in a very bad position. He's now going to find himself very heavily sieged at his natural expo. I'm actually a little bit surprised the light's not running it. Okay, finally ran in and there. P uh, actually picked off the circuit. He's thinking of being a little bit aggressive. Sunken Colonies isn't going to go down. Medic Marines is going to run in right first. Defensive Matrix is not going to bother. Only a couple of Sunken Colonies there instantly all go down. Tank's going to siege from a distance. Ultra is going to wait for the last second, but now they're going to get irradiated as well. Science also, Medic Marines, Tank's coming very close. Oh, man. Even with those erasers on them, Ultra does not manage to do enough damage to uh, pick off any of these forces. And White just playing a beautiful game of StarCraft here. Uh, really, no point really giving Quanor a sh chance to get uh, too aggressive, to get to that point where he can just continuously pump forces. And even when he got to Ultralisks, he just really couldn't do much with them. I feel actually going to Ultralisks on uh, the, the economy that Quandra had was not really the best decision to go. I feel on the economy he had, he should have stayed on Defile on Ling, Ling Lurker Defiler. I think that would have uh, given him a better shot. Uh, maybe getting some ambushes off. Using uh, He did use that def Dark Swarm very well effectively, but I feel he should have if he used it more aggressively, a bit more, there you go, GG. If he used it a bit more in aggressive action and got his bases up, as he was trying to do, but they all got taken down by lights. So, Nyquart managing to get to the position in the game that he would have wanted where he would have been able to just roll over light, not managing to get that uh, aggressive micro, I guess you could say, that Quano likes so much. So, light going to, oh, he's obviously riding on a wave of confidence. Two wins right off the bat. So this is a very good start for NBC. They really want uh, White and C to perform well for NBC game. Quano obviously looking dejected. Almost in tears actually. Chill kind of looking there. I knew what was going to happen. So NBC game going 2-0 and Wujing Stars now up against the wall a little bit. So we're going to see who they feel to take out this insane beast that is Light. GG guys wrenching out. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed. Third set next.